Situated in the shadows of the towering neo-Gothic National Cathedral, the original Garth Garden was a mid-century landscape that linked the walkways on the cathedral grounds. The original garden was designed by landscape architect Mead Palmer. Artist George Sutakawa designed the large fountain centered with a bronze sculpture. The fountain and the Garth were dedicated in 1969. In 2009, the National Cathedral decided to reimagine the garden, adding a space for the interment of cremated remains. In August of 2011, we had a 5.8 magnitude earthquake that essentially made the space that would become All Souls Memorial Garden and the Cathedral Garth unsafe to, to walk through. So the space was cordoned off. It was a hard hat zone until uh, 2019. We were able to then refocus towards the, the building out of All Souls Memorial Garden and, and the Garth as we know it today. In 2018, with repairs to the building completed, the renovation finally began. We saw it as a preservation project. What could we do to actually hang on to, you know, most of the key aspects of Mead's work but it inevitably would be um, changed because of the new use that was, being, that was being requested. The project created two new site walls to help define the space. One, a low granite wall, echoes the radius of the existing fountain. The other, made of rough fieldstone, retains the new burial mound. So you have these two walls in opposition and by inserting those two elements in this fairly small space, you really could witness the balance of two very distinctly different elements. The realm of the dead, which is the sacred burial mound, and then the courtyard of the living, the fountain courtyard. You can kind of understand at a glance, you know, what, what is going on. Along the granite wall are bronze bars engraved with the names of the dead. The simple attachment system ensures the bars remain stable and most importantly, replicable for next century's burials. We designed these markers that can cap a memorial wall in a very kind of intentional way that can be removed from the wall, engraved, and then reinstalled. It can be removed. The spouse's name can be engraved and then reinstalled. And it became something so tangible, it just made a lot of sense to us that it was something you could hold, that it could be passed off to somebody else. And uh, it really is a representation of the individual. By respecting the original design, the newly imagined space now creates two distinct spheres, the more communal and lively fountain space and the peaceful repose of the burial ground. The public can now use the space night or day for respite and meditation away from the busy world. Mm -hmm.